Today I have a quick unboxing video for you. We're going to be taking a look at a very cool pedal board which I think is not only inexpensive but actually quite well made. Let's take a closer look. Welcome back to the channel folks. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing video. This just came in. This is a brand new pedal board from the good folks over at Van Goa. It is the VPBL45 as indicated right here on the box and I was quite impressed when I took a look at the specs of this pedal board and today we're going to be taking a closer look. Now if you're like me you're always looking for a good pedal board. Sometimes you might need more than one because sometimes you have a main pedal board which has all of the fancy pedals on it and then maybe you want a secondary pedal board just for those little quick gigs where you might just put a few of your mini pedals on there. Maybe you don't need all the fancy effects. You want something light, you want something solid and you want something in expensive. So today we're taking a look at just that. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. There's something quite satisfying about opening up a brand new pedal board, starting fresh. The world is your oyster. You have so many possibilities ahead of you. Let's pull this bad boy out of the box and see exactly what we get. Sometimes there's surprises. Now a lot of people don't pay too much attention to the bag but I do because I feel like the bag has to be durable. It's got to have a good handle to it. It's got to be solid. The zipper has to be made solidly as well because there's nothing worse than putting you know just pulling out a bag that you intend to use with your new pedal board and it doesn't have the the essentials like a strap you know this one comes with a strap it also has a little shoulder pad here which you can adjust make longer or shorter you have the standard velcro on the handle on the grips which makes it a lot easier to carry this when you're carrying all your gear. It also has some handy pockets. So if you want to put something on the outside, you have a pocket in the back and a larger pocket in the front. And the pocket in the front also has a zipper. So extra pedals, extra cables, you know, different things that you might want to take along with you. And it has the Van Goya logo list listed right here on the front, which is nice. It also has little rubber padded feet, which is always a nice to have if you're putting this on the ground for whatever reason. But I tend to look at the hardware. This little D loop is not metal, it's plastic. This hook is also plastic. However, it does seem to be quite solid, even though it's not metal. If the plastic is good quality, it should withstand the usual wear and tear. Let's open up and see what's inside. I can definitely feel that there is some foam in here and it has a nice inside protector, which is good because this is the top side where your pedals are gonna be located and you don't want anything to hit the top of your pedals and knock the knobs off of the pedals and stuff like that. So it's nice to see that the opted for a padded top. Now inside we have some standard things. We have two rolls of Velcro. We have a male and a female here, which seems substantial enough. Two big rolls, two inch Velcro strip. And we also have a bag full of tie wraps for cable management, as well as some little 3M stickies that we can put on the underside. Keeping things neat, that's quite important to me. So the carrying case is padded on all sides, including the bottom. I think that's great. It also has some additional Velcro straps on the inside, which will hold the pedal board in place once you have your pedals on it. I think that's a very nice touch. I'm liking the bag so far, all right? Now, this is the moment of truth. This is the actual pedal board here. And as you can see, uh, the pedal board is quite nicely made, entirely made of aluminum, thick aluminum at that. If you look at the thickness here, this is, I would say, more than a quarter inch. This is not shabby, cheap, bent metal. It's actually very, very solidly made. Looks very nice. And I like 
the look of the angled pieces here on both sides because they have thick aluminum pieces that are bent. You have the screws that hold everything in place. You have the Van Gogh logo right there. The underside does have feet. Uh, the feet are not adjustable. They're just bolted in there. They're not rubber. So these the feet are actually made of hard plastic, which to me, I would think uh, is less desirable than rubber because rubber would keep this from sliding on the floor when you're working with your pedal. So that's something that I would have maybe liked to see made of rubber. More grippy rubber, I think, would have been better. But the good news is that these feet seem to be easy to replace. They're just basically a screw and a bolt on the inside. So you can actually just take them out and put whatever you want in there. An easy upgrade. Why don't we put it on the scale and see how heavy this thing is? The entire thing, two and a half pounds. Not heavy at all. One thing I like to pay attention to when I look at a brand new pedal board is just to see what the spacing is between the little individual bars because sometimes they just don't allow enough space to for the Velcro on smaller pedals to stick enough so the, the you know the pedals kind of fall off so if we're looking at a smaller pedal here and we put it on the board there's plenty of room top and bottom to allow adequate grip from the velcro that comes with this board and if you have larger pedals like these you can see how nicely they fit on there as well. So there's plenty, plenty of room to work with the Velcro. I would say that you can put in easily eight pedals on this board and the legs are high enough off the floor to perhaps Velcro a power supply right under here. So I want to give a shout out to the good people over at Van Gogh for putting together a really nice looking pedal board. I think a lot of you guys out there will benefit from one of these. So go ahead and pick one up if you wish. I'll put the link in the comment section below. Please don't wait too long. Whenever we post videos of gear like this, they go out of stock really, really fast. And at this price and this quality, you don't want to miss out so grab one while you can if you have any other gear you'd like us to take a look at please let us know in the meantime consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on all the other great videos coming your way see you soon